I'm about to reveal to you a way of creating Excel functions and formulas that hardly any Excel user uses or knows about, yet it saves an absolute ton of your time and makes your spreadsheets and formulas way easier to read and understand for others. So stay tuned. Before we go on though, what on earth is an Excel table? Right, well, just to clarify, it's not a pivot table and it's not a data analysis table. It's simply a collection of data that Excel can refer to as a table and that will open up a whole load of additional features and benefits to you. And to turn something into a table, you go on the insert menu and you hit table. As long as you're inside a collection of data, it will make an assumption about where that data is. It will make an assumption about headers and you can tick or untick that, but basically you hit OK. This is now a table and you'll see that we now have a table design menu. All of these whole new bunch of features open plus a new right click menu associated with tables. A great thing about tables is structured referencing. Now, structured referencing, you might wonder what on earth it is. It really is just a way of referring to cells inside a table that is much more natural language based. It's much easier to understand. It's a lot harder to go wrong. And it's actually a massive shortcut as well because you can refer to entire columns and entire areas of the table just with one sort of click of the mouse or potentially just typing and stuff. So let me show you what I mean. And I'm going to pick something outside of this table for the moment. I'm just going to do the sum of 2022. So let's take the sum. And then normally if you wanted to do 2022, you might sort of do something like this and you you'd highlight perhaps what you wanted or if you're a bit clever, you know, you might use a few shortcut keys. But essentially what you get is some like column cell reference numbers basically you know in this case g4 to g28 but with tables you get something a lot better so if i click on that like that you'll see with that arrow there it highlighted the whole of that column and it put in table 21 and then square brackets 2022 so in other words the table name followed by the column name in square brackets and just hitting enter on that will give me my total straight away. Now, table one might not mean a lot to you, but if you go back into the table on table design, you'll see the first thing on the left here is the table name. And if I change that to orders, and I'm actually going to put TBL in front of it, which you'll see why a bit later I do that. I'll call that table orders. You'll see now straight away, this has changed to say the sum of table orders 2022. Of course, I could change that to 2023 and you can, or 2021. You can see the highlighted area on the screen moving. But also, when I knocked off that number one there, you'll see now with the arrow keys, I've got all of my potential columns listed for that table. Then I can just hit tab on any of them to pick it up. If I remove all of that, and just put a square bracket, you'll see I get a list of all of the tables, including headers, all the data, the entire thing, just the totals, and then all of the column names. So, you know, for a sum, obviously it's not gonna make any sense to pick a sum of product name, but for many other formulas, that's ideal. So this is an excellent feature, this structured referencing. And if you're inside a table, now I'm going to make this total. So first off, let's do the sum of 2021 to 2024. And you'll see kind of what it's done here is created this reference that says it's the sum of the orders. I'll explain that at symbol at the moment, but from 2021 to 2024. So that's very clear what you're doing now. I mean, it would be fairly clear if it said like F4 to I4, you'd be able to see it. But 
but it's much clearer to somebody else using the spreadsheet what that is doing, and especially if it was outside of the table or on another sheet or something. This at symbol just means the same row as the current row. So that's one way of doing it. The other way, of course, would be to just add this plus this plus this plus this. And you can see this time you don't need the table name. It's not using the table name. And the reason for that is it's within the same table. And it's just saying take 2021 from this current row, 2022 from the current row, etc, etc. So that is a fantastic feature, the structure of referencing. It makes everything a lot easier to see what's going on. Huge, like dramatic reduction in error risk because you can see clearly what your formula is doing and so can everyone else that uses the spreadsheet. And if other people know what they're doing and there's less likely to be an error, it's gonna save you yet more time. Now, normally if I was on this orders not table here and I wanted to put a total column on here, I could type the word total, I'm gonna to have to make that bold, potentially sort of format it the same way as that. And then I'm gonna do my sum across here and, and bear in mind I'm using kind of shortcut keys to do a lot of this and I get that. And then I'm gonna copy that down and I could try double clicking there, but if there were any gaps or whatever, that wouldn't work. If I didn't know that trick, I'd literally have to copy and you know scroll down. You might even be doing this with a mouse. Oh dear, you know, or could go to the end and and that would be what I do. Contrast that inside a table. So this time I do equals the sum and I'm gonna highlight that. So straight away, we've got our 2021 to 2024. Close my parentheses, hit enter, and there it is, all the way down the column to the very end, including any blank rows that we've had. I'll take that off now and yeah dead simple so perhaps I want to look at um, you know previous year versus previous year so if I do versus uh, prior year straight away it adds a column 2024 minus 2023 very clear from the formula what it is hit enter there we go we get all of our results build straight down through the table ready to access with any kind of formula. Yet another good reason to be using Excel tables is the simplicity of highlighting the data and using it within formulas. I'm going to put a formula on this table to demonstrate how easy it is to uh, pick up on names and stuff within the table. So up here, let's just say I want to do a sum if to see what, I don't know, Chuck Clark has been buying in 2023, right? So I'll uh, we'll use the sum ifs. And it's saying like sum range. Now, normally, you know, you could be like highlighting areas like this, but with, with tables, as you hover over them, you get these arrows. So if I click where I get that, you'll see straight away, puts in my name here, TBL orders 2023. It's gonna pick it up. It's auto expanding if any new data comes in as well. So perfect, and I just clicked on it. Hit my comma, criteria range, customer name, criteria, well, Chuck Clark, but so we're just gonna say, uh, sorry, Chuck Clark here, no shortcut to that one, unfortunately, and hit enter. And there we go. You know, really good for picking up my, the whole of that total, for example. Perfect for picking up and using in formulas. I'm just gonna delete that. And another thing you might want to do is pick up data from other tables. So I'm just going to insert a column here and for customer segment because I have another table with customer segment in it. I'm just going to do a quick X lookup, 
don't worry if you don't know it. The key point is that I'm demonstrating is that how simple it is to reference stuff across sheets and data if you use tables. So my lookup value is going to be this customer ID. So I click on that, automatically gives me the name of that field. Hit my comma. I'm going to look for this on this customer table here. Again, hover over customer ID, comma. What's What answer did I want? I wanted customer segment. Hover over that till I get the arrow, customer segment. Close my brackets, hit down, uh, enter, sorry, and fill straight down because it's the, that's another fit, great feature of tables, of course. And we now have our customer segment built in. And let's say we're going to do the same with um, product name. So I'm going to put product segment on there or product category. This time I'll hover over here, I'll right click and insert columns to the left. It's another way of doing something similar. And on our product thing here, I'm going to put this product category. I'm just going to copy and paste that name on here. Same thing, just demonstrate it again. Product name, so we'll go product ID, comma, look up array, go to the product sheet, product ID again. What do we want back? We want this product category. And there we go. And double click on all of that so that it all fills out. And we've got this table now really simple way of entering formulas and a really understandable formula and really understandable ways of highlighting things. If you want to get impressive results the fastest way in Excel, make sure you subscribe to this channel and have a look at these recommended videos too.